Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be demonstrating the Best Arc BTC 800 DP Plasma Cutter. I've previously reviewed the BTC 500, which was an awesome machine, and a small MIG welder from Best Arc, and they are all good products. Today I'll be cutting steel ranging from 1 8 to one inch thick with this beast. It has 80 amps. However, I cannot use the full potential of the 80 amps because my fuse panel does not have an 80 amp breaker for this machine. So just keep that in mind. It also runs on 110 volts with this adapter plug. But remember that you must have a breaker of 60 amps to run it properly on 110. And I believe you need an 80 amp breaker for running it on 220 at full bore. If you want to use the full 80 amps, make sure your fuse panel is set properly for it. Mine isn't today, so I will only be able to use it in 220, not 110. I realized that it did not work that well on my 110 plug here through my fuse panel, so that's why I'll be using it in 220 only today. So I'll do some demonstrations. You can see for yourself, I will put the amp setting that I'm using the machine at and the volts that I'm using in each cut that you will watch. And I will also put the air pressure that I will be using for each cut as well. Now here's where you turn this machine on right at the rear of it. It's got a switch here, looks like a breaker. Right here you have your connector for your compressed air. It does also come with a water filter, which is awesome. You do get some hose with the machine. You will get some plumber's tape some clamps and a few extra consumables. And the torch that comes with it is the P-80. And what I do like about this torch is that it has a set of wheels that you can basically just drive on the piece of metal that you are cutting just like this. Here's the display panel. There's different settings. You can set it to cut when you want to set your air. If you're cutting plate or mesh, this is your post flow of air. So there'll be air coming out of the torch three seconds after you release the trigger. You can increase this. The higher the post flow is, the longer your consumables will last. And what I'm talking about are all the parts here on the torch because they will be cooled for longer. So when you set your air, you can put it at air and then turn this out to lower the pressure turn it in to increase and once you're done just go to cut here's your amp settings now there's a 2t 4t setting 2t what you must do to use that is continually hold the trigger to get a flame at the torch the 4t setting once you hit the trigger the flame will just keep firing out until you hit the trigger again Personally, I always keep it in 2T so that I have better control. I'll leave this at PT. I'll leave the post flow at three today and I'll be only doing cuts today of plate. And I will be using the machine from 40 amps to 65 amps. I cannot go to the full 80 as I mentioned or else my breakers pop. And also when you get the machine, your ground clamp right here will be hooked in this connector. In that port I mean, there's a small wire coming out of the torch as well that will go in here. A small red wire from the torch that goes right there. And then the main torch hookup goes right on this port. Very simple to set up guys and use.
So in conclusion here guys, my overall impression of the machine is good. It cut through the thick one inch stock metal here like nothing. Also the three quarter inch thick. It cut through that like butter. Very impressive for the price. And for the price, it's pretty hard to beat this. Years ago, I bought a major name brand machine and I paid over $3,000 for it. However, this machine here, which cost a fraction of that, will do everything that my other machine does for $3,000. So this makes it affordable for anybody wanting to get a plasma cutter to use at home. I have reviewed the BTC 500, so you might want to check out that review as well because the BTC 500 might be good enough for you and it does run pretty good on the 110. Like I mentioned, I did not run this one on 110 because it was popping my breakers in my fuse panel. And also I need to upgrade my fuse panel to be able to run this machine at the full 80 amps. But overall, I'm happy with it. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to subscribe to my channel and have a great day.